at H-E-B in the health food section because like no one ever comes over here and I feel really weird about filming stuff like in public because I feel like people are going to think I'm crazy. So so first things first, oopsies, there we are, school, <laughs> take these off. Uh, for me, it's officially over. I do have to go back on Monday, though, for training. That's my first workshop of the summer, and I have something like 50 or 60 hours that I have to go to. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of it's going to get chopped down because <laughs> I'm always ambitious when the school year ends because I'm like, I need this, I need this. But I don't think I want to go to 50 and 60 hours depending because of how busy our summer will be getting. Uh, this is why I don't wear these. I always get that there, but I don't know where my other ones are. So I uh, first chore first chore of summer is grocery shopping um for keto obviously so I guess this is going to be like a keto grocery shopping video thing um I just decided I wanted to do it I already talked to Matt about all of it which is why I have notes over here I always make like a pre-list based off of like what I'm planning for like the upcoming week um just because it's keto food can go bad very fast so you really kind of need to have a plan for what you're going to do, which is what I had. And um, so I have mainly the plan for dinner and he knows what he does for breakfast. I know what I do for breakfast. We both know what we do for lunch. So it's really not that big of a deal. So I'm sticking to the dinner plan because a lot of the dinner plans can also just be lunches or breakfasts. Breakfasts. So yeah, let's, let's go grocery shopping. Probably should make sure I have my wallet first. <gasps> and we do. Probably should make sure the cards are there. And it is. I'm not going to show it. I'm smart like that. So, keto shopping. Here we go. I'm about to check out. Okay, so I'm back. And I did not really record anything in the store because it was still weird. Um, but then I realized everyone talks to their phone. It's like everybody does like the live thing or um, whatever with friends. Like what's that? Ugh. iPhones do it. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Video chat. Wow. Um, so, well, pardon any mess. Two people live here with full-time jobs happens. It's really not that messy either. Hmm. Closer. So we have pepperoni, just H-E-B brand because it's cheapest. And then two rolls of first H-E-B hot sausage. Macros are pretty good on that one. It's just breakfast sausage. Don't fall off the island. And then just regular pork sausage as well. Two... Put those over there. Two containers of Bertoli Alfredo sauce. Um, the macros on these are pretty bomb for keto. Those aren't focusing right now, but that's okay. Three bags of frozen cauliflower. It's just cheaper and easier than buying actual like whole cauliflower. And also it's frozen, so it doesn't go bad as fast. And it's flash frozen, so it's still good. Uh, back in the back, we have two... Two boxes of grapefruit sparkling water, just H-E-B brand. There is zero calories. It's sugar-free. There's no sodium. There's nothing in it. It just tastes like grapefruit sparkling water. And then we have just regular sparkling water because we use stuff like Mio just for flavoring. And we also have um, lemon juice and lime juice in the fridge. So next, beef hot dogs. These are more so for a little guy because he's coming this weekend and I was trying to think of like a really quick protein snack for him and this is really fast or just meal or whatever. So I got him that. Then we have two packages of sliced, thinly sliced medium cheddar cheese because Matt has a pretty good deal or idea to use those for lunch. Romaine lettuce. Yes, romaine. You can just make stuff with it easier, like I'm going to make a BLT out of it, an actual BLT. Then we have a yellow onion, just because that's what I was in the mood for. Jalapenos for stuffed jalapenos, tomatoes, just in case our own tomatoes don't have enough or don't produce enough. Um, at least we have these and then they're just easy. I'm trying some new stuff out. I got Bay Bubbles, never tried this before, and oh yeah, it's cookies and cream! 
So naturally I had to get it. Um, I've always wanted to try their bars, but um, they have soy in them, so I don't want to do that. And then right behind it, whole milk, just a half gallon, because I usually go for the lactose kind, but HEB no longer sells the whole milk version of Fairlife, so I didn't get it, so I just got this version, half gallon also, because LG eats it with cereal. Um, cream of tartar, because we're going to try, like, egg breads. Yeah, that's it. Two packages of cream cheese, full fat. One most important thing is one package of a pound of butter, salted. Write in a blog post about that right now. Check it out when I publish it, I guess. Uh, Monterey Jack cheese, block. It's kind of soft, not a huge fan, but we'll see. Um, and then the meats. Well, more of the meats, I guess. We got 36 eggs. Yep. Three dozen eggs. I don't do math. And then we got some skirt, and then we have some skirt steak. It's actually really pretty. Pretty proud of it. Chose it all by myself. Um, I think this is six pounds of ground beef. We got about three ribeyes, all equaling out to two and a half pounds. And then two packages of chicken thighs that they don't have the poundage on there, that are about uh, two and a half pounds each as well. And so that was it. This is going to feed us for actually a while. Because when you go keto, you kind of don't eat as often. You just eat. I did spend about 140 in total on all of it. All pretty good. Um, I think the biggest factor, well, I also saved $10 from buying locally or buying the store brand. Um, we only shop, we don't only, but we mainly shop at HEB for a lot of what we need and we trust them. And because of that, you know, people that you shop at a lot kind of help you out. And so just simply purchasing HEB items, you can save money. <laughs> like, almost everything here is HEB. So, yeah. Shop locally, guys, or like buy from your local stores. It is really, it um, helps you save money, and even if it's not organic or non-GMO or whatever buzzwords being used now, um, at least it's local, at least you're supporting your local economy. When you support your local economy, it's just better, you know, for yourself. So support your locals. I'm going to get off my soapbox and put all this stuff away.